guys, what's up? I know, long time no see. I abandoned you guys like always. I know, sorry guys, but I have a reason. I have a really legit reason. I started a new job, so I had to, you know, settle in, uh, do the training, and you know, relax a bit after that, because it was like, I had to learn a lot. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do a Daiso haul and a little mini Ross haul because Halloween is coming up. Why is that fool leaving now? Sorry, there's some really good cheese mac going on outside. Ah! I'm gonna do a Daiso haul and a mini little Ross haul. I haven't done a Ross haul in a while. And 40% off is coming up in October, so get ready for that. We're just gonna start out with the Daiso haul. Yeah, so this is the stuff I got from Daiso. And I went there because I wanted to kind of wait out the traffic because now where I work, I'm really, 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 really close to a Daiso. Well, not really, really, really close, but it's closer than I am to my house, so now I can get to go to Daiso as many times as I want. But yeah, uh, anyways, let's just get straight to it. So the guy there was really, really sweet. He's, he, like, complimented me. He was really sweet, but he packed everything pretty much in this little container I bought. Uh, so let's just dig right into it. Um, the thing that's not in the container is this skull. He wrapped it up in his newspaper for me, so get rid of blots. Trash. I got this skull right here, and it has um, some rhinestones on the eyes, and it's for a candle, but I'm going to use this as like a prop for my Halloween tutorial videos because I'm starting to, you know, I mean, I already see that everybody in the YouTube land has started doing um, Halloween tutorials, so I'm going to start on that because I got some wigs, and this company is, company is sponsoring me on some wigs and some contacts. It's like, oh, it's a it's like getting good this year like seriously it's really really getting good this year and I decided to you know buy some props to like decorate and you know be ready I even got a backdrop guys it's a really cool backdrop it's a it's a blanket but it's really cool you guys are just gonna have to wait until my um, Halloween tutorials which by the way if you leave a comment down below to let me know what kind of tutorials you want to see this year because I like to do different um, looks for each year I don't like to like repeat if I do repeat it's like um, like revamping one of my old looks but yeah I haven't done yet I haven't done that yet but I would like to keep doing new ones and I like to like experiment with the things so the creepier the better because I like to do like SFX makeup and I like to practice on that but anyways long story short I got this for a prop and it's really really cool alright so all the things next are just gonna be coming out of this little tin right here which I'm gonna show at the end because you can't really see the details because it's white so this time I did find a whole bunch of Pocky and I found some really like sleek kind of looking Pocky. I don't know. It was different packaging than the other ones I've seen before. But I got the green tea Pocky. I love Pocky. If you don't know what Pocky is, like a biscuit uh, covered in like chocolate but like flavored kind of chocolate. So yeah, it's kind of like that but it's really cool. Really cool. It's really, really good. So I got two kinds. Um, got the green tea one and I got the almond crush one because... I just like these two flavors. I like the cookies and cream ones. They did have that, but I was like, you know what? Let's just pick two and go because I like two. I'm going to use these as, well, I already opened this uh, because I ate one yesterday. But I'm going to keep these um, on my desk uh, for little snacks because I get hungry before I have to go to lunch, before I like decide to go to lunch because I don't have a designated, I don't have an assigned lunch hour, but, you know, here and there snacking before the lunch hour. So, yeah. Got these Pocky and I can't wait to munch on those. One thing that was really disappointing to me was that they didn't really have a lot of Halloween selection. Maybe because it's not really, I don't know, it's it's not October yet, but it's creeping up on us. Anyways, last time I went, last year I went to a Daiso which was farther away than this one. And they had wigs and all that stuff. I was, you know, thinking of buying another wig. Maybe, you know, because I like to grow my wig collection. They didn't have anything. They just had like little kitty um, costumes which... It's all good. I got this prop thing um, that I don't know what kind of look I'm going to have a look in mind, but yeah. It's a bow with like a veil, and I got the black one because I thought it's creepier. So I got this, and you can't really see because it's like reflective. Let me just take it out of the bag. It's just this veil with a um, bow on it, so I thought, you know what? And it's really pretty, and I thought... Yes. So um, I have a look in mind for this, but we won't know until I do it. So yeah, I got this and I'm really excited to use this. Next thing I got was this simple standard nail file with a bunch of like different 
like buffers and stuff. So I needed a nail file and I got one. So $1.50, hello. I saw this thing right here and it reminded me, it's very similar packaging to the peel off charcoal mask. And I decided to you know pick it up. I didn't really read what it was. I saw cleansing foam and I was like, maybe it's charcoal cleansing foam. I don't know. But I picked it up anyway. So I'm going to try this out. Um, it just says mix bubbles with water. Softly massage and wash out. Um, it says small tiny hulls of... Oh, it does have charcoal. Small tiny hulls of charcoal absorbs absorb dust and pollution. It clears out dirt and sebum in pores. So that sounds pretty cool. I have some really nasty pores sometimes around my nose area, my chin, and my like forehead area it's really gross but you know we're gonna see if this works so decided to pick this up there was a whole bunch this time and I didn't find any of the peel off mask ones which I wanted to get another one but there wasn't any so there's that and I got myself I uh, actually got two of these I already gave one to my mom but I've heard a lot of good things about this eyeliner pencil uh, eyeliner pencil eyebrow pencil and it's compared to the Anastasia brow wiz I believe that's what it's called but yeah, I got this one. This is eye brow pencil. Um, but yeah, I got it in the color. Does this even say what color? It just says brown. So yeah, I got this one. There was a darker one, but I was like, I'm gonna go with this one because you're not supposed to color in your eyebrows like really, really dark. I mean, you could if you want to, but that's not the look I'm going for. So yeah, I got this, and I can't wait to try it out. I went looking for colorful makeup. Now. I wanted to get colorful makeup because I got rid of all my Coastal Scents like 88 Shimmer Palette 88 color palette. I don't remember what they're called, but I had those palettes since like the beginning of my YouTube stardom, I guess. I don't know, but I've had those palettes since like the very beginning, and I was like, that's I've had those in years and years and years, so it's time to get rid of those. I threw them out like last month, and I've been on the hunt for some colorful makeup. Now, I need some colorful makeup now because I don't want to order it and wait for it. So I got this. Long story short, I got this. I got this palette, and it just says uh, Santi New Palette Matte Duo, and it has a whole bunch of colors in here. It has a little um, sponge applicator, but I didn't. Okay, I swatched it when I got home, and they're decently pigmented. So I'm gonna swatch a few colors for you guys. So. They're decently um, pigmented, so with the white base underneath, you can work with that. And I thought, for a dollar fifty, you couldn't go wrong, right? So I got it. Long story short, I got it. That's why. And the most infamous thing I always go into Daiso for. I went into Daiso for looking for some Halloween props or Halloween stuff, and these. Yes, my pour strip. I love these. I use these on my nose, my chin, anywhere I feel that I can, you know, get rid of some um, whiteheads or something like that. You know, the gross stuff. And I got myself five packs of these because you can't go wrong with four pack for a dollar fifty. Yeah, so I always go in for those. Those are my favorite things to buy. Um, next thing I got were these lashes. They are value pack. I like to get the value pack ones that don't look very plasticky. So I got myself one of these. Has three pairs of lashes, and they just look kind of dramatic. I don't know anything about lashes because I don't wear lashes on a day-to-day -day basis or ever at all. I only wear these. I don't I only wear lashes if it comes to a look or I don't know. Yeah, something like a look or something. But I never wear eyelashes on a day-to-day -day basis. So, yeah, I got these. I don't know nothing about lashes, but they look kind of dramatic to me. If you put them on top of each other, which I plan maybe to do, just you know, stack them up and make them more dramatic. Anyways, I got um, I got some lashes. Last thing I got was the most exciting thing of all, band-aids. Whoa, Nelly, yes, I got some band-aids. I just remember when I went to California, I bought some band-aids and the, the really hardcore ones. They wouldn't like peel off if you got them wet or whatnot. They were just really heavy-duty band-aids and they're just band-aids, but they're the best band-aids I've tried. So yeah, got some band-aids and the last thing I got was this um, file organizer thing. You can't really see because if I tilt it, it has uh, the Eiffel Tower and some wording on here. Um, I do not know if this is in French. It might be because there's a Eiffel Tower. So, but whatever. It looks cute and it's white and it has a little, I don't know, the overall look of it is just really cute, cutesy and I'm going to put this on my desk because I deal with uh, paperwork that it has to be filed kind of. But, uh, but yeah. I just don't want to lose that paperwork, so I decided to, you know what, I'm going to buy a tin to put that paperwork in there. And my desk isn't really that big, so I didn't want to get like a tray, so I got something like this, so you know, 
it can stand in a little corner and um, yeah it won't use that much space on my desk because my desk isn't really that big has I have two screens um, two desktop screens and yeah it's a little desk oh whoa the white balance I should use this as my white balance I like the brightness Ooh. got this dollar fifty pick it up if you want something cutesy like this for your desk or anywhere else so yeah they have different colors of this I believe there's one like a pale pink and a pale green I believe I saw so yeah and the last things I'm going to show you guys are the things I got from Ross. Now, I went to Ross um, on the hunt for some makeup because, I don't know, I've never really tried, well, I've never actually tried any makeup from Ross, so I didn't, I didn't know, like, the quality of it, but it's decently pigmented, I guess. I got this palette right here, and it's from the Perfusion um, makeup line. I've used Perfusion in the past, like, years and years ago, and, like, I think that was the first brand I've ever used, like, palette-wise. It just looks like this, and, um, they are mm, decently pigmented. They do feel a little chalky, but, you know what, a good base underneath it can, like, amp up, um, any colors and make them, you know, look more, like, better, make them look better. So, yeah, anyways, I got this palette, and it comes with an eyeliner and one of those sponge tip applicators, so... Got this, and this was was $4.99. Um, another palette I got, which the packaging, I already took it out of the box, but it looks like this packaging. Uh, it came like this inside of it. It is a blush palette. So I got this blush pa pa pageant palette, and it was $6.99, and it's uh, from the brand Beauty Treats. It's the blush palette. It looks like this, and it comes with a whole bunch of uh, colors, and they are pretty pigmented as well so yeah they look like that and I can't wait to play around with this so that's pretty much it guys leave me a comment down below as I said in the beginning of the video if you have a specific Halloween look you want me to do the creepier the better um, leave it down below and I'll see what I can do that's pretty much it hope you guys have a fantastic day and leave me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys